Hey guys, in this video we'll be showing how you can make a simple inverter that gives a sine wave output. So you'll need a powered GUI block, you'll need a DC source, DC voltage source, and you'll need four MOSFETs for a single phase inverter. So let's just rotate this. Yeah. So MOSFET 1, MOSFET 2, MOSFET 3, and MOSFET 4. So we'll have to join these MOSFETs. Let's put a capacitor in parallel with the DC voltage source in order to maintain a constant voltage. So we'll take an RLC branch and we'll make it RC because you can't put two voltage sources in parallel with each other on MATLAB. It causes some mathematical error. So and now we'll so to make a to get an output that's a sine wave output you will have to put an lc filter so an l filter let's change the inductance value to thirty power minus six and now we'll need a capacitance block with a value of 1.5 e to the power of minus 3 okay now you will have to connect a voltage measurement block in parallel with the capacitance to measure the voltage across the capacitance So we'll see why exactly we're adding this LC filter after we observe the output shown on the scope. So I made a mistake in the connection of the inductance. It has to be connected to the first branch. And now we have to give a PWM input to the MOSFETs. So we'll choose a DP PWM generator DC to DC generator will give a pulse width of 0 0.5 duty cycle make it 0 0.5 and we'll have to connect the MOSFETs in the alternate positions and they have to be negated with the other two MOSFETs So we'll name one A and the other one B. So B has to be connected to the other MOSFET on the same branch. So now let's observe the output. So zooming into the scope, we see that it's a sinusoidal 
output but there are distortions it's because of the capacitors and the inductors in the C in the in the system however the reason why we put the capacitor and the inductor is because without the capacitor and the inductor we would be getting a square wave rectangular a AC output so let's see it now so as you guys can see that yeah so as you guys can see you get a rectangular square wave output so this is exactly why you put the LC filters is to filter out and make a sign sinusoidal output out of a rectangular output so thank you for watching our video we hope you find it useful also do check out our other videos that we have on our channel thank you